Good day, everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna look at HP tuners. If you're new to my channel, this is also new to me as well. I purchased the HP tuners because of my 2003 Jeep TJ. I installed a 4.8 Vortec motor and I wanted to be able to make some changes to the tune if needed and also to explore and play around. So I ordered this directly from HP tuners with two credits. And those two credits have already been applied to my other PCM, but I do have a spare one. So along with this painless wiring accessories, bench top, ECM programming pigtail, part number 60550. We're gonna hook this up to the PCM, plug it in, and we're gonna have a look and see what it says. So this is set up real simple like, attach it to your PCM, there's your port. Hook up to 12 volt power supply. You got positive and a ground. So as you can see, I got DC power supply running at 12.3 volts, operating at about 0.38 of amps. And of course up top, got the light on. So I'm gonna do right there is read the information See what comes up. This is a 2002 Avalanche 5.3. Now I can start looking at some of the the data here. So in this section here is where we can go through and turn off everything you want that'll cause the mill light to come on. If you want to remove your rear O2 sensors, you can click them off. Then of course in the system tab, if you wanted to disable the VATS, that's where you would do it. So what I'm gonna do is open up the Jeep first read And I'm gonna see what happens if it says go to right. If it'll make you make you license it. It says unlicensed vehicle. So I'm just curious to see what the licensing information will this will be. Show license options. So since I don't have any licenses, it's all kind of grayed out, but it would be two credits, unlimited, Chevy Avalanche would be six. This feature is kind of nice and I may play around with that on my Jeep is the uh, tire size and gear ratio. Some I might have to look into. What was some of the other things? Of course, obviously, you can change the VIN. So many things that uh, I don't even know yet and a lot of things that you can fool around with that might get you in trouble and cause you some serious issues, so to speak. Question that I'm curious about, will HP tuners plug into my factory Jeep PCM? As far as I know, I don't think the Jeep PCM is even programmable, but we'll see if HP tuners can read it. So we do have the read function. See if we can get any data from this. No VIN was detected or continue without one. Maybe I need to go into the JTEC Jeep and see what happens there. Turn ignition off, wait three seconds. Audrey timed out. 
out okay let's try the other one let's try the other one you guys getting sick of that beep yet Oh, downloading bootloader. Now we're reading. We're reading the data. Close the door and peering through so I don't get that annoying beeping going on. Interesting, I turned the skim to disable. And then I want to see how many license credits it would take but does not tell me does not show me i find this interesting so my jeep tj had the coil bar so i can understand why coil one two and three are enabled but if you go over to injectors why are they all enabled then five put five volt output auxiliary disabled asd relay enabled disabled disabled disable interesting Interesting enough, let's change it over to a 5.9 diesel. Yeah, the information off the Jeep PCM is really basic and nothing really to go snooping around in, so to speak. All right, time to shut her down. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I was uh, very intrigued, to say the least, to see that... I can definitely read the data on my Jeep PCM. There's not a whole lot I can do with it. Not a whole lot I really want to do with it because I already got the LS swap in it. But uh, if you guys have been paying attention on my other channel, you obviously would have known that I've been putting HP tuners to work. And hopefully in the future, you guys will be seeing a lot more of it as we'll probably most likely will have to be changing a lot of parameters and stuff on the Jeep. As we figure out what's going to work best, what isn't, and such. So I'll see you guys in the next video.